Hello there. This is Tejas from Trendline and we'll be looking at the portfolios of four superstar investors who follow different investment strategies. This video will also analyze how their bets over the past few quarters paid off. The four portfolios in focus are Rakesh Junjunwala and Associates, Sunil Singhania, Ashish Kacholia and Dolly Khanna. After a new 52-week low in June, Indian markets have been in an uptrend. The Nifty 50 bounced back in Q2 FY23, rising 8.5% as opposed to falling nearly 9% in Q1. Let's look at how this rising market affected superstar portfolios and what sectors they are betting on. Barring Dolly Khanna, the net worth of superstar investors in focus rose above the benchmark index in Q2. But it is worth noting that Dolly Khanna's public holding value rose 30% in Q1 FY23, while others' net worth fell anywhere between 21 and 28%. Returns vary for investors as they follow different investment strategies. Dolly Khanna stays nimble in the market, getting in and out of a stock quickly. She invests mainly in small cap space and has a diversified portfolio in terms of sector. But Junjinwala and Associates portfolio has a preference for large cap stocks. It has low diversification as the top four stocks make up for over 70% of the total portfolio value. Ashish Kacholia and Sunil Singhania have a relatively diversified portfolio, mainly in the small cap space. They are now diversifying away from their preferred sector, which is software and services. Singhania in particular is a value investor who invests in companies that appear underpriced by fundamental analysis. When analyzing the Q2 buys and sells, a noticeable trend is that superstar investors are wary of IT stocks. A total of 41 companies saw an invest increase in these superstar investors' stakes, but not a single company among the 41 was from the software and services sector. Muted growth expectations on the back of slowing economic growth worldwide are hurting the IT sector. These superstar investors turn towards sectors like chemicals, consumer durables and, and textiles and accessories in Q2. Let's take a look at the big bull, Rakesh Junjunwala. This portfolio is now managed by Rare Enterprises management team headed by Utpal Sheth and Amit Goela. As of November 7, Junjunwala and Associates public holding value was Rs 35,030 crore. The portfolio value increased 5% in just over a month after Q2 FY23. This rise comes after a 30% gain in Q2. Textiles, apparel and accessories continue to be the preferred sector. Other sectors that make up a significant part of the portfolio include banking and finance, retailing and auto and auto components. Rakesh Junjunwala and Associates reduce their exposure to the banking sectors in Q2. Though bank stocks are currently on an uptrend, rare enterprises sold stakes in bank stocks. This could be because of rising interest rates that may hurt loan demand amid high inflation levels. In addition, the team also increased its stake in Titan, which now makes up over 38% of the portfolio. Due to this disproportionate weight in Titan, any decline in the share price will impact the portfolio significantly. The top 5 stocks of RJ and Associates portfolio have remained the same in Q2. Titan's strong results led to a rise in its share price, which in turn drove the public holding value higher. However, Tata Motors and Crisil, which make up 7% of the public portfolio, fell due to weak Q2 results. All five stocks are in the large cap space. RJ and Associates added a 0.4% stake in Titan in Q2, taking their total stake in the company to 5.5%. The team also added a new 7.9% stake in Singer India, which is engaged in trading and manufacturing sewing machines. Other companies in which the team added their stake include Tata Communications, Fortis Healthcare, NCC and Tata Motors. In Q2 FY23, RJ and Associates cut their exposure in a total of 14 stocks. Stocks from the banking and financial sector stand out. Federal Bank, Canara Bank, Karur Vaishya Bank and India Bulls Housing Finance. The team cut its stake below 1% in companies like Autoline Industries and Billcare. Let's now move on to another superstar investor in focus, Ashish Kacholia. Kacholia maintains a diversified portfolio with his top 5 stocks contributing to about 25% of, of the total holding value. His top five holdings are from different sectors, reducing exposure to a single sector. Textiles, apparels and accessories and consumer durables are his preferred sectors. This superstar investor's net worth rose 6% in one month after Q2 FY23. In the past three quarters, Kachola has drastically changed his portfolio structure. IT was his sector of choice in Q4 FY22 and Q1 FY23. But in Q2 FY23, the software and services segment made, made up of only 7% of his portfolio. The possible rationale behind this could be muted growth expectations amid high valuations in the IT space. He reduced his stake in all of his top IT stocks. Kacholia has now turned towards chemicals, petrochemicals and consumer durable stocks. 
NIIT and Shaili Engineering Plastics are the only two companies that remained in Kacholia's top five holdings in Q2. Interestingly, both these companies' share prices fell in the past three months. Uh, other three companies, which are new entrants to the top five holdings, saw their share price rise in the past three months, with Finiotex Chemical leading the pack with a staggering 58% gain. Kacholia went on a buying spree in Q2. He bought new stakes in eight companies and added investments in 11 other companies. Among the buys, four stocks are from the chemicals and petrochemical space. He bought new stakes in Agarwal Industrial Corp and Best AgroLife, while adding stakes in Finiotex Chemical and PBCL. The superstar investor also added investments in stocks like Ador Welding, Expro India and Garver High Tech Films. Among the top 10 stocks uh, that Kacholia sold in Q2, four are from the IT sector. The biggest sell was in Mastec, which was, his, which was in his top five holdings in the previous quarter. The company's stock price has decreased by nearly 45% year to date. The superstar investor also reduced his stake in NIIT, which is in his top five stocks in terms of holding value. Now let's look at another superstar investor who is also diversifying away from the IT sector, Sunil Singhania. He invests through his company Abacus Asset Management. I will refer to it as Abacus, from, uh, Abacus Fund from here on. Software and services continues to be Abacus Fund's top sector in Q2. This is despite fund cutting stakes in IT companies. Consumer durables makes it to the top three sectors in Q2 after the fund added 0.12% stake in Hindberg Home Innovation. Portfolio diversification is neither too high nor too low as the top five stocks account for about 50% of Abacus Fund's total holdings. Abacus Fund's uh, total net worth fell 12% in one month after Q2 due to poor performance by Rupa, Rupa & Co and Mastec, which are among his top five holdings. Uh, though the top holding, Jindal Stainless Hisar, rose 32.4% in the past three months, underperformance by other holding companies led to a fall in net worth in the past month. It is worth noting that Singhania, through his fund, sold a 1.5% and 0.2% stake in Mastec and Routemobile, respectively in Q2. These are the only stocks in the IT sector in his holdings. Coming to the buy side, Abacus Fund bought a new 1.2% stake in pharma company Jubilee and Pharmova and added investments in seven other companies. The PE ratio of all these companies is significantly lower than, sector, than their sector. This means Singhania continues with his value investment strategy in Q2. In addition to cutting exposure to stocks in the IT space, Abacus Fund also reduced its stake in the general industrial sector. Among companies in this sector, the fund cut its stake to below 1% in Surya Roshni and Paras Defense and reduced its stake by 0.9% in the Anup Engineering. General industries currently make up for 4.3% of the total holding value against 6% in Q1. Let's now move on to the final superstar in focus, Dolly Khanna. Her portfolio is managed by her husband, Rajiv Khanna. The strategy followed by this investor is quite different from what we saw with Singhania. Dolly Karna's portfolio is well diversified in terms of sectors, but not so much when it comes to stocks. This is because all the top five holdings in her portfolio are from different sec uh, sectors, but these five stocks make up over 60% of the total portfolio. Karna's portfolio was down 17% in the past month due to poor performance from her top holdings, Chennai Petroleum Corp and Sharda Crop Chem, which has fallen over 10% in the past month. Karna stays nimble in reacting to the market. As a result, her portfolio structure varies from quarter to quarter in terms of sectors and stocks. The oil and gas sector, which made up 1% of the total holding value in Q4 FY22, rose to 28% before coming to 18% in Q2 FY23. Out of 8 stocks that Khanna bought in Q2, J. Kumar Infra Projects was the only new company added to the holding list. This company undertakes construction of metro pro projects, roads, flyovers and bridges. The superstar investor added stakes in Monte Carlo Fashions for two quarters after cutting stakes in Q4 FY22. Currently, this stock makes up for 9% of her total public holding value. Karna held stakes in two companies in oil and gas sector in Q1 FY23, Goa Carbons and Chennai Petroleum Corp. In Q2, she cut her stake in Goa Carbons to below 1% and she reduced her stake by 0.7% in Chennai Petroleum Corp. Previously in Q1, Chennai Petroleum Corp had jumped over 2.2 times. Apart from these two companies, Khanna also reduced her stake in New Delhi Television and RSWM. As we saw in the video, superstar investors followed investment philosophies that suit them. One common trend was the stake reduction in the IT sector, while textiles, apparels, chemicals, petrochemicals and consumer durables were the preferred sectors. 
You can find these and many more superstar portfolios on trendline.com. This is Tejas signing off.